Hello guys, welcome to the new video. Today we are going to begin with the study of compounds and the first chapter in the study of compounds is hydrogen chloride. So today we are going to discuss about hydrogen chloride. Lot of things are not there in the syllabus like the uses is not there. Sort of, sort of things are not there in the syllabus, okay? Small, small things. Okay, so first thing we are going to learn is the structure of HCl. Everyone knows what the structure of HCl? So H, then there is Cl, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Clear? I have given a space here because it is a polar compound. Clear? So, can I bond line re representation is HCl and this is electronic dot diagram representation. Clear? Next comes AMU or weight that is 36 point, that is 36.5. Clear? 36.5. Clear? Molar mass is 36.5 gram. Okay? Basic information about HCl. Okay. Next, we will be learning about how to prepare HCl, clear? But before that, you need to know slightly that HCl was first named as muriatic acid. I don't know how many of you know this. It was first named as muriatic acid. Who? By whom I mean? It is by Lavoisier. Okay. It was named by Lavoisier. Muriatic acid. Here are not sorry, but I don't remember the year. Okay. So it is by Lavoisier, it was named as muriatic acid. Okay. First time, very first time it was done. Clear? By Lavoisier. Later on, we see another scientist called Davy. Another scientist called Davy who said that it is hydrochloric acid. Clear? So Davy gave the name hydrochloric acid, but Lavoisier had given the name muriatic acid. Okay the first thing basic approach to hydrochloric acid okay okay next is it was said that hydrogen chloride gas is found in free state in volcanic eruptions okay yes it is it is found in volcanic eruption it is true okay in the gastric juice also you have a cl everyone knows that biology okay next preparation how will you prepare? I am not talking about laboratory preparation. I am talking about general preparation. How will you prepare? Very simple. If you can combine H2 and Cl2, easily HCl will be formed. I am not talking about HCl acid. HCl gas will be formed. Clear? Okay. This reaction everyone knows. But there is a condition that is very much necessary. That is the term is diffused sunlight. Okay. Direct sunlight you cannot give. Clear? You cannot put it in direct sunlight and don't know. Then it will be explosive. And if you put it in dark also, reaction is not going to occur. So, everywhere there is a problem. Uvay Shankar, that you call Bengali. Okay, Uvay Shankar. Right. So, diffuse sunlight. You need to give sunlight, but that is not continuous. In a diffuse state. Okay. Clear? You know, partial sunlight, not direct. Clear? Okay. Why diffuse sunlight? First reason, if you give direct sunlight, explosive explosion will occur and if you do not give light no reaction will occur clear i will not say no reaction but negligible reaction clear very negligible reaction so in the dark reaction is not occurring or you can say negligible reaction is occurring in direct sun rays it will be explosive so what we need diffuse sunlight clear okay another thing is there that is called activated carbon if you use activated carbon as a catalyst then in dark also this reaction will occur clear why because activated carbon will absorb hydrogen gas and you need hydrogen gas for here so it will absorb hydrogen gas which will increase the chemical reactivity and thus it will occur even in the dark so what is the catalyst activated carbon if you without the word activated zero okay okay so this is one way how you can get HCl? Another way to get HCl is basic like reaction with metal chloride and sulfuric acid, not volatile acid. Clear? Suppose I take NaCl and H2SO4. Okay. Now I have seen many people memorizing reaction. Please do not memorize the reaction. Unless very much needed, do not. Like this reaction is not memorized only. What will you do? You see Na, this will go with this and this will go with this. Clear? Now think, apply your common sense, what can be the reaction product? See, Na, 
you will go with SO4. So NaSO4. Can it be? No. Cannot be because SO4 2 minus. So there has to be a 2. So put a 2 over here. Clear? Okay. Achha. This can also be NaHSO4. Now this depends. This depends. If the temperature is maintained below 200 degrees Celsius, if the temperature is maintained below 200 this, above 200 this. Clear? Two conditions are there. If it is below 200, relation this one, above 200, answer this one. Clear? Okay. The, this one will try to go with this. Now you see H2Cl. Is it possible? H2Cl is possible? Not possible. So what will you write? HCl. Clear? HCl and balance the reaction by putting a 2 in front. Clear? For this. Okay. For this balancing is not required. Clear? So basic thing is that it will be either of this salt plus HCl. So you can get HCl easily from this method by reacting metal chloride with sulfuric acid. Clear? Understood? Then repeating. Na will tend to go with this anion SO4. Now NaSO4 is not possible. So it has to be Na2SO4. Clear? Now Cl will try to go with H. H2Cl is not a compound. HCl is a compound. Clear? This reaction have come across in acid based salt also. This is an acid salt. This is a neutral salt. Clear? Okay. Next we move on to the laboratory preparation. Laboratory preparation. In laboratory preparation, the reaction that we need to read is uh, NaCl plus H2SO4 forms NaHSO4 plus HCl. Clear? Reaction is by this? Okay. Understood? So it is NaCl plus H2SO4 forms. So you, this condition remains less than 200 degrees Celsius. This is very important. Temperature has to be maintained below 200 degrees Celsius. Reason? What is the reason? First of all, when you are preparing it, apparatus is glass. Might not be able to tolerate greater than 200 degrees Celsius. Might cracks happen. Clear? Next. Above 200 degrees Celsius, there will be sodium sulfate being formed. Okay? Which will stick to the glass surface, inner surface. And it will be very difficult to remove it. Hard crust. Okay? And last one is fuel wasted. You are heating excessively. So, definitely more fuel will be wasted. Clear? These are the three reasons. Why we use the temperature below 200 degree Celsius? Clear? Reaction required is this. In the book, you will get the setup given. Right? The setup given. First is NaCl, then crushed sulfuric acid, then there is a drying agent, again sulfuric acid is there, then there is empty container. That is there. So you have to remember the reactants. What reactants are placed where? Like in the round bottom flux, sodium chloride, in, uh, in the delivery tube that is connected to another part that has drying agent as concentrated sulfuric acid drop by drop concentrated sulfuric acid falling from up also up there is also another system from where sulfuric acid will also fall right so that diagram you, uh, you need to read apparatus setup actually not a diagram apparatus setup that you need to read okay so the apparatus setup will not come for drawing it will come for labeling clear it will come for labeling okay now this gas HCl it is has to be dry. HCl gas has to be dry because HCl is very much soluble in water, highly soluble in water. Clear? So to dry this HCl gas, we use H2SO4. Clear? To dry this, we use HCl. This is not diluted, this is concentrated. Clear? This is concentrated H2SO4. Concentrated H2SO4 is a drying agent. You have already learned in class 9. It is a drying agent. It is used to absorb water. It is a dehydrating agent as well. Drying agent as well as dehydrating agent. Clear? Okay. Now, there are many other drying agents. CAO are there, P2O5 is there. But why aren't we using this two and we are using particularly H2SO4? Then has to. Everything has a reason, right? Then why are we not using this? Because, because this person reacts with this person, this person also reacts with this person. So, if reaction occurs, do we need a reaction? No. We need to dry it. Do we need a new product? Then what is the purpose of the reaction is destroyed. Purpose of reaction is to dry HCl. If it reacts with HCl, then reaction purpose is destroyed. That we do not want. Okay. 
But the reaction we have to read, so CO plus HCl, what will it form? CA will try to go with CL, so CaCl2 plus H2O, done, okay? Next was P2O5, this reaction you can memorize, plus HCl forms POCl3 plus HPO3, okay? POCl3 plus HPO3, balance the reaction, okay? Balance the reaction you can do, I hope. How can we balance? See, first one is to right. So if we place a 2 over here, then oxygen will become 2 plus 3, 5. Huh, 5. So 2 over here, plus 3 plus 2, 5. I've done. H is 1. No, this will be becoming more. So, uh, to place 2 over here, 3 plus 3, 5. 3 plus 3, 9. 3 into 3, 6, 2. Make an even number. So three, so four. Uh, if we, this can be made as 4. So if we make it as 4, 2 will become 10. This be 1 only. We can place over here 3 to 3. 9 plus 1, 10. So, uh, now okay. Let's place 3. Clear? So see here what we have done. Always whenever odd numbers are coming, na, try to take to even number. Like here 2 and here 2 plus 1, 3. Odd number is coming. Check the LCM, 6 is coming. So see, if you can take 6, 6 is not possible over here. So what can is possible? Because oxygen is 2 into 5. So it can be 10 is possible. So see, 10 can also go from here like 3 plus 1, 10. 3 into 3 plus 1. Oxygen plus 4. Okay. And here, phosphorus also 4. Here, phosphorus can also be made 4. So that you have to think and analyze and get to accordingly. Okay. So 2P2O5 plus 3HCl forms POCl3. What is POCl3? POCl3 is phosphorus oxychloride. Clear? Phosphorus oxychloride and this is metaphosphoric acid, not required. Just know the formula, okay? This is phosphoric acid, uh, sorry, not phosphoric acid, but not. Uh, phosphorus oxychloride and this is metaphosphoric acid, clear? So when this reacts with this, this forms duds. So we do not want this. We want the HCl to be dry. This is not the purpose of our reaction. So this cannot be used. Reactions need to be memorized, okay? Okay, next. In the preparation of HCl, we are using NaCl. We have a so many salts known in the world and we are using NaCl. This is very simple. NaCl can be found anywhere. Very cheap. You go to a salt uh, sea shore, there also will get NaCl. So it's a cheap one. Clear? Next. You are having HNO3. You are having H2PO4. Many things you are having. You are having HNO3. You are having uh, HCl itself. But you cannot use that. But why are we not using HNO3? Leave it other acids. Why are we not using HNO3? HNO3 is a volatile acid. Volatile acid means at room temperature it will easily evaporate at 100 degrees Celsius around. Okay. So it will easily evaporate. So it will easily volatilize out along with the HCl. That is not the purpose of our reaction. Clear? Okay. This is the reason that we have to write whenever question is asked. Next. Hydrogen chloride gas is collected by. Achha, understand this first. Hydrogen chloride gas is heavier than air. 1.28 times heavier than now still if something is heavier than air where will it tend to go below or up below suppose there is a tube okay not a tube let's say cylinder inside the cylinder there is air fine air say there is air initially now we are pouring in some hcl okay now what will happen to the air air will move up or down air will move up so this part will be gradually covered by only air and this part, let us take, will be covered by HCl. So, what is happening? HCl is settling down. Now, think properly. HCl is going downwards, right? So, downward delivery of HCl. You will not write downward displacement of air. Upward displacement of air. Air is going where? Air is going over here. Upward, right? But HCl is going downward. So, either you have to use the term downward delivery of HCl or upward displacement of air. Understood? Why are we telling it so? Understand. HCl is being inserted. So, HCl will gradually settle over here and air will go above. So, air is going above. So, up displacement of air is above. You cannot write downward displacement of air. No, that is wrong. Then something has to be lighter than air for downward displacement of air. Right? So, this is Upward displacement of air. Hydrogen is collected by downward displacement of air. Why? Hydrogen lighter than air. Clear? So, downward delivery of HCl. 
and upward displacement of air. Reason 1.28 times heavier than air. Clear? Next, we could have used water as well. Why not? Because what is highly soluble in water? It is very much soluble in water to form hydrochloric acid. Clear? Highly soluble. Okay. Next, HCl gas is formed in a reaction. How will you identify it? How will you identify that HCl gas is formed in a reaction? How? Bring a rod dipped in NH4OH near the mouth of the container. If dense white fumes is seen, it is HCl. Why? Suppose reaction is NSM reaction. Let me keep NSCl plus H2SO4 forms uh, Na2SO4. Let's take Na2SO4 only. Okay. Temperature above 200 degrees Celsius plus H. This someone, suppose someone is there who does not know the reaction. Fine. Fine. He does not want to see the HCl gas being released. How will you make him understand that is being HCl gas being released? What will you do? You will bring in in front of the mouth of the container, uh, not a container, test tube, test tube only, test tube, the rod dipped in ammonium hydroxide. So what will happen? If this is the reaction NH4OH, what will be the form? NH4Cl. Here I am bothered with this. Products are different also. Clear? So it will form NH4Cl. Obviously, water is also there, but I am bothered with this. Do that on my I am bothered with this, but do not skip that. If you are writing the reaction, this must be needed. Okay, must be needed. But right now, I am concerned with this. So, this reacts with this to form this. Color of this is dense white fumes, and this is a sublimable substance. Right, this sublimes. You already know that. This is a sublimable substance. So, if you bring a rod dipped in this, this will react to give you dense white fumes. If it is seen, then all it is an HCLS. Otherwise, uh, HCl gas, sorry. Otherwise, it is not an HCl gas. Clear? So, the identification of HCl gas. Clear? Understood? Okay. Next. Density. To demonstrate that density, that's the thing that I have shown already. You are pouring one uh, HCl gas in a container. You will find the HCl gas generally settling down. But... How will you understand the settling down to prove that you can keep a candle inside that clear? Now when you put HCl gas, you will find that the candle extinguishes after some time. Why? Because HCl gas has covered the bottom part, air has gone above. So there is a gap between the, not a gap actually, there is a, you know, what to say. Air has gone up, so that candle cannot reach the air. HCl is there, in a gas is there in between, right? So it is a non-supporter of combustion. And it is also not combust. That is also proof from same experiment. Same experiment will do two things. One is it is heavier than air, and another one is that it is a non-combustible and non-supporter of combustion. Clear? Two things, one experiment. Done. Understood? Next one is the important experiment. Red fountain experiment. The red fountain experiment. What is red fountain experiment? The diagram given in your book, you can see the diagram. What is basically done is, this is, if we take this as one inverted bottom flask, round bottom flask, inverted round bottom flask, clear? So, let us take this as an inverted round bottom flask, clear? Standard, all things are there, I am not drawing that, clear? Now, this one is, you know, fixed with a rubber, though this rubber looks a little bit bigger, okay? So, this is basically fixed with a rubber pan, like this, clear? Two holes are made. Okay, not some bare small one to insert something. So two holes are made. Two holes are made for two different purpose. Clear? One purpose is to insert a dropper. Another is to insert a large jet tube. Two things are done. One is dropper. Suppose it's a dropper, and one is a large jet tube like this. Clear? Here we have kept a solution of blue litmus. Okay. Do not judge the drawing, please. Blue litmus. Clear? Okay. Now see what happens. I press this dropper. I press this water dropper. Okay. I press this dropper. What will happen? Water will go inside. Water will go inside. And HCl is highly soluble in water. Inside is HCl. Clear? HCl gas. So, 
it will dissolve some will dissolve some amount will dissolve highly soluble something will dissolve in this as a result whatever pressure hcl was exerting will decrease what happens in physics external pressure air pressure and in internal pressure if they are equal then only it will be okay if something happen that this is more than inside what will happen what will happen straw what happens you pull it so internal pressure decreases external pressure that is atmospheric pressure is more as a result the fluid enters the straw so which is the fluid over here this which will enter this now enters the jet tube goes go goes in over here hcl gas is present no what is the nature of hcl gas acidic nature a acidic nature clear also hcl acid is present clear i am not talking about hcl gas it is dry hcl gas okay dry hcl gas it is of neither acidic nor base it not shows acidic property why because it is not coming in contact with water. but a part which has already come in contact with water it is it will show its acidic property right so as a result here the fountain will be coming objective will like that only color will be red we had blue color want to red wow how and why because hcl is acidic clear so this proves that hcl is also acidic and also highly soluble in water clear reason is very simple atmospheric pressure increases air pressure inside the column decreases therefore this blue litmus will get in uh, solution will get in over here and it will turn red due to hcl acid clear understood red fountain experiment clear understood okay now let us move on to the next part that is chemical property combustibility not no combustibility it does not have any combustibility it is neither a combustible substance nor a supporter of combustion clear now comes the reactions now we have to discuss more about reactions okay acha suppose i give you na plus hcl i have discussed this in some other chapter as well na plus what will form nacl plus h great if i give you um, magnesium plus h what will be form mgcl2 great plus h2 great if i give you mm cu plus hcl what will be form cucl2 plus h this is the mistake this is the mistake mistake where is copper located below or above hydrogen below hydrogen so can it displace hydrogen no so if you react cu with hcl what will be formed the action will not occur what will form no reaction occurring clear this will result in nothing no reaction why cu is located below hydrogen cannot displace hydrogen from its compound this kind of tricky question might be asked in between okay okay reaction with ammonia i have already shown reaction with ammonia nh3 plus hcl will form nh4 cl okay next is hydrochloric acid so hydrochloric acid is basically hcl plus h2o hcl plus h2 it will form clear okay now this gas that is hcl gas is also soluble in an organic solvent this question might be asked this hcl gas is soluble in an organic solvent in an organic solvent the name might be asked structure not now but i will show the structure once it's toluene what is it called toluene it's toluene toluene is basically okay this is toluene this is basically toluene this is a benzene ring benzene ring at its methyl group it is toluene clear this is toluene so hcl gas is highly soluble in toluene not highly soluble soluble in toluene clear in toluene if whenever it is soluble it will neither turn red it must blue neither will it conduct electricity none of the above it will do clear none of the above okay 
that is soluble in organic solvent toluene. Okay, this is not three D is in organic chemistry. Not now. Okay. Okay. Next. Next is laboratory preparation of hydrochloric acid. We have learned about hydrogen chloride gas. Now we will learn about hydrochloric acid. How can you prepare hydrochloric acid laboratory laboratory method? Clear? Let's see. Okay. Achha, this is an inverted thistle funnel. You can see very well. Inverted thistle funnel. Okay. Now this is placed in a container. Water is over here. Is it clear? So see properly. Water. Achha, let us increase the water level a little bit like this. Okay. Ah. So see, it is placed in such a way that this thistle funnel will touch the rim of the water. Rim, just the surface. Clear? It will touch just the rim of the water. Now, rim of the water it is touching. So, some amount of it is water touching. So, some amount of water, the HCl will get soluble. Tell me. HCl will get soluble. Here we are passing the HCl gas. Okay? Don't think the HCl is coming from heaven. No, it is coming from there. Clear? So, HCl coming from here, 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 here. So, whenever it will come here, it will get in contact with water. It will get soluble. Clear? So, as a result, here HCl gas is suppose coming, 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 coming. Inside some pressure is there. Outside also some pressure is being acting. When HCl gas is soluble over here, then external pressure will exceed internal pressure. Understandable? External pressure will exceed internal pressure. As a result, what will happen? Water will enter in. Water will enter in. Water will enter in. There will be a gap created over here. Suppose water has entered in. So now the water level has decreased to this. Obviously, water level cannot say that. So water level has decreased. So there will be a gap there in between. This gap will again exert some force over here. Air is now here also. So as a result, again this will become equal. This become equals. And again the water will fall down. But water, that in that water, HCl has already dissolved. Right? So again it's a hydrochloric acid. That water will again fall down. Same process will keep on repeating until this tray is full of hydrochloric acid. Clear? Clear until the water in this tray gets saturated, that is, gets full with hydrochloric acid. Clear? Saturated. Okay, this is how you laboratorily prepare hydrochloric acid. Understood? Okay, here we use a funnel arrangement to prevent back suction of water. Clear? To minimize the back suction of water and to provide a large surface area for absorption of ACL gas. Clear? This surface area is like this part I am talking about. Okay. Large surface area. Okay. Okay. Back section is understandable. No? Suction you are doing a back section. It is very simple. Here HCl gas is being passed. Pass, pass, pass. But it is more readily soluble and it can be passed. As a result, this pressure keeps on decreasing. So, water keeps on in, in to reduce this. We have we generally keep an anti suction device clear that is back suction of water. Okay, okay. Next, you will get you will come across one term Achha. isotope, isobar, isomer. Many terms you have already come across. Now, it will be coming across another trope that is Achha. allotrope. Also, you have come in class uh, 8. Allotrope today, you will be coming across another term that is not allotrope. But azeotrope. What is that term? Azeotrope. Azeotrope. Or it is also called as constant boiling mixture. Constant boiling mixture. Constant boiling mixture. Okay. What does this mean? Constant boiling mixture is a mixture or azeotrope. Same thing. This and this is same thing. So this is a this is a solution. Clear? This is a solution which will boil. Boiling fine, very well. I am boiling, but without any change in my composition, I will boil. But without any change in my composition, 
then it will be set in a zeotrope or constant boiling mixture. Example, we are dealing with HCl, so HCl. Now, if you write only HCl, cut, no marks. With temperature, we will specify HCl at a particular temperature, 110 degrees Celsius. HCl at 110 degrees Celsius acts as a constant boiling mixture or a zeotrope. Term is a zeotrope. A z e o t r o p e. A zeotrope. Okay. Now coming to the last part of this chapter. Reactions. Okay. First is reaction with any oxide, metallic oxide, metallic hydroxide. Okay. Metal I have already discussed. Clear? Coming to metallic hydroxide and oxides. So before that, let me just tell you the color changes. You already know in acid based salt, we have learned for acids the color changes litmus from blue to red. In phenol pH thalein, colorless, colorless. In case of methyl orange, it will be orange to pink. Clear? Okay, now let us do some next. I will exactly give you two CO plus HCl. Now, if you don't know anything of a reaction, just substitute. How? Cu will go with the anion of this compound, the other compound present, and this will go with this compound. Now you have to use some of your common sense and some logic of chemistry. You cannot randomly write things. CuCl. Is anything called CuCl there? Is anything called CuCl there? Yes, it is there. It is there. But here you have to see it is valency 2. So you cannot write CuCl. You have to write CuCl2. Here, HO. Is anything called HO there? No. Empirical formula is very different. But HO is not there. The water is there. So H2. Clear? How do you well write? You can write like this. See, you have to use some of your logic. You write randomly things. Clear? Achha, another one. Let us write ZnOH hold twice plus HCl. What will it form? Zn will go with Cl. Let's write Zn goes with Cl. What else? H will go with OH hold 2. Now you say, what is H OH hold 2? What does that mean? No change in the products. Water will have to be water. Why? This is the base, Baba Ji Bon. This is the base and this is the acid. Base acid reaction is nucleation reaction. So always the product has to be water. One of the products. And the other one is the respective salt. Clear? Two reactions done. Let us move on to the next category of reaction. Next category of reaction. Next category of reaction is okay, carbonates. Hydrogen carbonates plus hydrochloric acid. Clear? Carbonates, hydrogen carbonates plus hydrochloric acid. Okay. Right. CaCO3 plus HCl. Achha. What will happen? Ca plus Cl. It's CaCl is not possible. So, product will be CaCl2. Fine. Another product will be H goes with CO3. So you will say HCO3, where HCO3 is nothing, HCO3 minus is an ion, so HCO3 is nothing, so HCO3 you cannot write, so what will you write? Carbonic acid. What is the formula for carbonic acid? H2CO3. Now, this H2CO3 is a very weak acid, okay? This will tend to dissociate into H2 and CO2, okay? Clear? Do not write this. Right directly on to write. Clear H2O will tend to break down into H2O plus CO2. So instead of this, we will write this. Clear? Just think like this. Instead of this, we are going to write this. So what will be the final answer? What will be the final answer? CaCl2 plus H2O plus none. Very difficult. No. So let us write NaCO3. Plus HCl. Tell me what will form NaCl plus plus H2CO3. Right? That is not possible. So you have to write H2O plus CO2. Clear? So whenever you see H2CO3 is being formed, do not write H2CO3. Break it down into H2O plus CO2. Clear? Okay. Next one is sulfite. Bisulfite with hydrochloric acid. Sulfite, bisulfite with hydrochloric acid. Okay.
अच्छा सपोज द रिएक्शन इज सी एस ओ थ्री इज कैल्शियम सल्फाइट फाइन दिस विल गो विद दिस सो दिस प्रोडक्ट अगेन बिकम सेम प्लस एच टू एस ओ थ्री राइट वट इज दैट सल्फ्यूरस एसिड अगेन द सेम कंसेप्ट विल कम वेन नेवर यू सी सल्फ्यूरस एसिड देन फॉस्फोरस एसिड दोट इज नॉट देयर Sulfurous acid, phosphorous acid, hydro car carbonic acid. They will dissociate into their primary acid and hydride and water. Clear? What is the acid and hydride for SO three? One less SO two. Clear? So this will not be there. Instead, will be there is H two O plus SO two. Clear? So whenever sulfite is there reacting with HCl, what will be formed? SO two gas will be formed. Do you need to memorize reactions? No, not at all. Clear? H two SO three dissociates into SO two and H two O. Clear? Acha. Here, if we write uh, NH SO three, what is that? Sodium bisulfite. Clear? What will be formed? NaCl as usual. H two is already present. So, what will be another product? H two. Clear? SO two. Understood? This will dissociate into H two O plus S O two. No other product is possible. Clear? Okay. Last one is whenever you react sulfide with H C L, rotten X mill gas forms. That is hydrogen sulfide. Okay. One only I will show. Suppose it is Z N S plus H C L. It will form Z N C L two plus rotten X mill gas. That is clear. Understood? Okay. Next, one question that is very common from here, distinguish question. One question is possible. One very important question. This will be common questions generally. One very important question is Na two S two O three and Na S O three. These two distinguishing tests. How will you distinguish between this? Chapter is obviously essential. And if you do not use HCl, then HCl is a little bit sad, right? So you have to use HCl. Acha. Now how will you do? And the NaSO3 reaction you already know. I am not writing the reaction again. This reaction. The reaction is not very difficult. The reaction is very easy. Check. Na2H2O3. Acha. Suppose this was not there. Suppose this two sulfur was not there. What would have been the reaction? NaCl Plus HCl is there, okay. I am not writing plus HCl. Plus HCl I have written here, okay. Plus HCl will write. Clear? NaCl then H2O then SO2. Correct? Acha. Now one small change is there. That is two sulfur. Now you cannot balance the reaction by putting here two in front. C will not be able to balance the reaction. And where will the sulfur go? Sulfur cannot vanish, so there will be a sulfur. Clear? Sulfur will be. Seen yellow color sulfur. Clear? Yellow color sulfur is precipitated. Now tell me how will you distinguish? Now tell me how will you distinguish? Whenever NaSO3 is added to HCl, there will be no precipitates, no yellow color precipitates. Rather, clear? There will be HCl, the uh, sulfur that is yellow color. Distinguish is very much perceivable. Clear? Distinguishing test between sodium. Uh, Na2H2O3 and NaSO3 is this clear? Clear. This is sodium thiosulfate, thiosulfate, not biosulfate, bisulfate, thiosulfate, and this is sulfite. Clear. This is thiosulfate and this is sulfite. Clear. Okay. Next. Next is. If I add, अच्छा, precipitation reaction, clear? अच्छा, if you have seen that dilute HCl will not react generally. Generally, dilute HCl does not react with nitrates, but it reacts with only two nitrates. Clear? What are those two nitrates? It's lead nitrate, it's lead nitrate, and mercury one nitrate. Okay. We will say that we can cut the two, but you cannot cut the two. It's due to some rule. Clear? We cannot do that. Clear? Okay? So if we add HCl to this, I am not writing the complete reaction. Okay? You will write PbCl two plus HNO three. Right? 
PBCL2 plus HNO3. HNO3 is not going to dissociate into anything. It will be HNO3 only. It is a very strong acid. Correct. Same goes for here. HNO3 will be formed. The product form, one of the product form will be Hg2Cl2. Clear? Not forget this 2. It will not be uh, in a problem in class 10. Okay. So, product is HNO3 for both the case. Here it is PBCL2, here it is Hg2Cl2. This chat 2 reactions are very much needed because they are exceptions. Clear? Okay. Next, silver nitrate. Silver nitrate plus HCl. Next, silver nitrate plus HCl. This person also reacts with the HCl. Achha. Let me tell you one thing. In the before reaction that we have done, PBCl2 was a precipitate form. That will dissolve in heating. You heat it, it will dissolve. So, if the precipitate that will dissolve on heating will be lead nitrate salt. Clear? Because the precipitate of lead nitrate will dissolve. Other will not dissolve. That can also be a distinguishing test between lead nitrate, mercury, one nitrate. Clear? Okay. Color both is white. Okay. Chloride. Mercury one chloride and lead chloride. Both are white color. Clear? Now here, what will be formed? AgCl plus HNO3. Correct? AgCl plus HNO3. This is a precipitate. Color is white. Okay. Thick color the white. White. Okay. This substance is widely used, more or less this one is used, clear? This one is used in both chlorine ion detection and also for test hydrochloric acid, clear? Both this is used, okay? Because white PPT will be given only when it reacts with HCl, it has to both will not give the same PPT, right? So this is also used for test for this person and also this is used for test for Chloride ion, that is not there right now. Okay, now this white precipitate, AgCl, if you react with this only, it is not soluble. Clear? This person is not soluble in this, that is why this is a precipitate, right? But this person is soluble in H4OH. Reaction is not necessary, okay? Reaction is not there. HCl plus NH4OH, then the reaction is soluble. Reaction is soluble and this reaction is a complex reaction because salt form is a complex salt clear NH3 whole 2 plus Cl minus okay writing properly the reaction is not there okay the, pro the product that is formed the product that is formed is Ag NH3 whole twice plus Cl minus clear this is one of the products form. This is this is this has got a very interesting name. Direct name only. So it's called diamine. Spelling needs to be focused on. Diamine silver chloride. Okay. Diamine silver chloride. Clear? Silver one chloride. Clear? Diamine silver one chloride. See the name given to this. Though it will not come in an exam. Okay. Water is also there as a product. Okay. Water is also there as a product. Now this, this substance, this, when added in HNO3 will again give you HGCL. Clear? This substance added to HNO3 will give you HGCL back. Clear? That HGCL, if you expose this to sunlight, it will decompose into Ag and Cl2. Clear? Because it is a sensitive to light. Clear? So that is all you need to read from this chapter HCL focus more on the apparatus for laboratory preparation of HCL gas that is more important fountain experiment is important and obviously HCL acid preparation is also important okay so that's all from this video in the next video we will be going to the second compound that is probably ammonia huh, ammonia only probably ammonia not ammonia only then HNO3. Okay, see you all in the next video.